Hello and welcome to Messing About with Models with me, John Ruddy. Today we're going to be having a look at the new Hornby Terrier locomotive. Today we're going to be having a look at the new Hornby Terrier locomotive. Those of you who watched the BBC4 programme behind the scenes at Hornby will know that this has been brought out in response to a model from Rails of Sheffield. Uh, let's see how it holds up. Thanks to Rails of Sheffield I've got the early BR black version of the Hornby Terrier. As you can see it's number 32655. The picture on the box looks to be very nice. We'll just open it up and see what it looks like inside comes in Hornby's usual packaging, which means it's very safe and secure and difficult to get out of the box. Slide the outer plastic off there. Little bag of uh, vacuum pipes for the engine. Lift it off. As you can see, it's actually a very tiny model. But it's a tiny engine. The first thing you'll notice is that the chimney uh, isn't brass like in the image on the original box. Um, and this is prototypical because as you can, if you look at pictures of them, you'll see that uh, in, certainly in BR days, they were not, uh, had that sort of copper chimney. It makes it look very sort of Great Western almost. So having a look at the engine, we can see that it's, Livery is very finely applied. It's got solid buffers, they're not sprung buffers, but um, that's probably not a great loss. If we see if we can just see into the cab, but uh, there's plenty of uh, items in the cab, uh, all the various controls are there. The uh, only other problem which has been noted is that the Perspex in the uh, which is covers the glass for the two sort of um, portals at the front is a single piece of perspex there. So who is this model aimed at? Well, Hornby are selling it for eighty nine ninety nine which is about £30 less than the competitor from Rails and Daypole, but with that one will be a lot more highly detailed. For uh, someone on a budget, it's an excellent model. It runs really well, uh, but if you want the extra fine detail, then my advice would be to go for the Rails of Sheffield one. If you've got any thoughts on the new Hornby Terrier, please add your comments below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thanks very much and look out for future videos.